In this video, I'm going to be reviewing six super affordable fountain pens. I'll go over the specs, I'll do writing samples of each of these, and I'll tell you what I think coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. We're going to look at six ultra budget fountain pens and the first three are disposable and the last three take cartridges now they are arranged from least expensive to most expensive but none of them are more than six dollars so they're all very very affordable starting with this one first this is the nakabayashi art navi fountain pen and this is a disposable fountain pen they're all going to have steel nibs. This one has a steel nib, very plain design. I believe it's the same nib that we are going to see on two of the other pens in this lineup. Now, this pen costs $3, and as far as I can tell, it only comes in a medium nib, and it only comes in black ink. It does hold quite a lot of ink. This is an ink window here. This is the only one that has metal accents out of the disposable fountain pens not real metal it does have kind of a, a cheap look to it but I don't know what you would expect for three dollars it, it doesn't look bad in my opinion up next we have the pilot varsity this is a pen or the varsity line rather is one that I've used for over 10 years these are really really good pens I like the design you know we have this very classic pilot clip with this sort of triangle shape that terminates in this ball it looks looks really nice and these this pen is made in Japan and I think out of the the nibs that we're going to see today this one has the most shapely design but again it is still very flat very plain I don't necessarily like the the design of the the body the wrap that they do here it's I would just say not my favorite now interestingly I did have an old Pilot Varsity. This is one that I've had, I think, for probably 10 years, and I definitely haven't used it in the last three or four. And when I tried to use it, it just started right away. There was no hard start, no nothing. It was like I had used it yesterday. It was really, really good. So very impressed with the performance of these Varsity pens. Now, they come in singles, and they come in packs. There are seven different colors. And interestingly, Pilot's fountain pen line, not the Hiroshi Zuku line, but just the standard Pilot line, also comes in seven colors. But there are two differences. In the Pilot fountain pen line, you get a blue-black and you get a sepia, whereas in the Varsity line, you get a pink and a turquoise. These also only come in a medium point, or at least in the U.S., they only come in a medium point. Now, next in the lineup is the Zebra fountain pen, and it's just called the zebra fountain pen retail price on this is three dollars and 14 cents and it comes in a 0.6 millimeter point only and I, I that's basically just a, a medium this comes in the exact same seven colors as the pilot varsity they're obviously going after the pilot varsity market share with this pen because they matched the colors exactly and this is a newer product than the pilot varsity you know we have the translucent cap here which reflects the color that's inside the pen so this is a green one and i think it looks pretty good it's made in china i believe the nib is the same that we got on the nakabayashi so if we look the design is basically the same you look at the side of the pens and the feeds it's the same nib the first cartridge pen is the zebra v301 fountain pen now this pen probably looks familiar to some people. It's the fountain pen version of the famous Zebra V301 ballpoint pen, a pen that I really liked. This pen is $4.23. Don't know how they came up with that price. Has a steel barrel. It's refillable. It comes with two cartridges. I do believe that they are proprietary, and they only come in blue and black, and they're sold in packs of two for $3. So... This one also, I think, has the most attractive design. I, I really like the look of these pens. It's made in China. It has this kind of interesting, very pointy, hooded nib. Very good looking pen. Now, one thing that really I don't like about this pen is that the cap 
does not stay on the pen. It doesn't post. It looks like it, it's going to in the pictures on their website. They show it posted, but in practice, or at least with this example, it doesn't work. That's a real deal killer for me. I was expecting to like this pen the most, and it was the biggest disappointment. Looking at the cartridge, this is what the cartridge looks like, and I do believe that it's proprietary. It's not, you know, this is an international, you know, it's a different diameter uh, attachment point, so I'm not sure that you're going to be able to buy any ink other than the Zebra inks, which only come in blue and black. So that is the Zebra. Next, we have the Platinum Preppy fountain pen. And this pen costs $4.50, at least here in the, the States. I think they're more like $3 in Japan. This one comes in the most variety, uh, the most options. So this is the 03 model, which is the 0.3 millimeter fine model. In this point, the fine point, you get seven colors. And there are also two other point sizes, an extra fine point, 02 millimeters and a 0.5 millimeter medium. However, those other two point sizes only come in three different colors. Now, the good news is because this is a cartridge pen and it takes Platinum's standard cartridge and converter, you have options within staying within the Platinum cartridge line of 14 different colors. So that's really, really good. Now, when I say 14 different colors, I think maybe four or five of them are highlighter colors but you get a lot of options with this. This pen is also very commonly converted into a eyedropper. So you would pull the cartridge out, you'd probably want to use something like silicone grease on the threads here and then you can fill the barrel with ink and get just a massive ink capacity. Looking at the the nib, we have the Platinum P there, kind of a, a fake looking breather hole and 03 uh, denoting the 0 0.03 millimeter line width. When I said that this comes in seven colors, I mean it comes in seven different body colors, and each of those body colors reflects the ink that comes with it as standard. Now, this version, again, the 0.03 version, also comes in different decorated bodies that have different designs and, and motifs on them. A lot of options here, and it's a, a very, very popular pen. Design-wise, it's not my favorite. I mean, I think it, it looks good. I just, I wish I could take this off, and there really isn't a good way that I've been able to find out to just remove this and eliminate that branding. This sticker you can take off, but this stays on there, and it just, to me, it doesn't look that amazing. But it's made in Japan. It's $4.50. It's, out of all the pens here, this one might be the best value. Okay, now, Finally, we're looking at the Onami Olika fountain pen. Onami is a Korean stationery brand. This pen is made in China, and this is the third pen to have that same nib that we saw on the Art Navi and the Zebra fountain pen. Now, looking at it, you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference here. The you know nib has a little bit of scroll work on there, and it says F. And interestingly, underneath the nib, you'll see this little red thing there. I don't... Do you see it right here? I don't know what that is. That is one difference between this and those other two pens with what looks to be the same nib. Not sure what that's there for, but it's interesting. This pen, as you can see, has a very nice, comfortable rubberized grip. It's $5.50, so this is the most expensive. However, with it, you do get two extra ink cartridges. So you get three ink cartridges in total. This pen comes in 10 different colors and it comes in a fine and extra fine nib grade. This is the fine. Now, unlike the Platinum Preppy, this one is not suitable for converting into an eyedropper because at the end here, there are holes in the barrel. So you can't do that with this one. Okay, let's go do some writing samples. So first up, we have the Nakabayashi Art Navi, and I have to look up how you spell this, Nakabayashi, and it's the Art Navi, and I'm going to speed this up as I go through these, just so it's not super boring for you, then I will come back and tell you what I think about how they all write.
Let's go through these real quick. Now, in terms of performance, with these disposable pens, I do believe that there can be more variation between pens than on some more expensive fountain pens. So in some scenarios, it may be that I've gotten bad ones. Hard to say. Now the Nakabayashi Art Navi, this pen wrote pretty nicely. I, I've used all of these pens for I think the last two weeks now, trying to use each of them daily. The Nakabayashi Art Navi, when I first got it, it wrote great. And then I started noticing that it would be a little bit on the dry side. And I think that's still the case now out of all the pens that I've tested today. This is the, the driest writing. And we do get a little bit of, of skipping here. And it could just be I got a bad one. I've only had one. So I'm putting that caveat in there. In terms of reverse writing, all of the pens that have the same Chinese nib are able to do reverse writing relatively well. They are scratchier than the other nibs, but in terms of reverse writing, actually, you know, regular writing, they write really nicely, quite smooth. They're all nails, as you would expect for a cheap pen, but they write quite well. Now, we did get some skipping here. You know, out of all these, I would say the Nakabayashi Art Navi was the, the worst performer. Pilot Varsity did very nicely, no skipping, no anything. Very smooth reverse writing with this pen. It works really nicely. I've had a lot of Pilot Varsities and I've never had a bad one. Now, I know people have had bad ones. I just have not experienced it yet. So in terms of reliability, I really probably put the Pilot Varsity at number one, at least just in terms of my experience. I mean, again, I have this one, just like probably 10 years old, and it still writes. It's pretty impressive, I think. Now, going on to the Zebra Fountain Pen, I've had a couple of these before, and I've had good performance with all of them. Again, this same nib, as far as I know, as the one on the Nakabayashi Art Navi. Scratchier for reverse writing, you get not really a huge benefit from the reverse writing. This is also the medium, the 0.6 millimeter. I like the Zebra Fountain Pen, you know, as I'd say it's a close second in terms of the disposables to the Pilot Varsity. The Zebra VO3, this pen, it's a fine, but it really writes, I think, more like a medium. It's a pretty fat nib. It writes very smoothly. Pretty good performance. I did get some skips here, but it's, it's very smooth. Reverse writing on this is also quite smooth. I, I like the nib on this. I would say probably a bit better than the one on the, the, Z, the Zebra fountain pen. The only other issue that I have with this is that because it's kind of so like needle-like, this nib, sometimes I have, I make the mistake of getting the position of the nib wrong. Uh, it's just kind of easier to not notice or, yeah, just kind of not notice the position of the nib. Just kind of a, a side effect of that nib being so pointy. Now, Platinum Preppy. This pen is very, very smooth. The ink is, is really nice and no no issues here. You do get some difference in the, the line between the reverse writing and the normal orientation. This is, yeah, very nice writing pen. I've always felt that these pens feel plasticky and I mean, of course, they are plastic and it's super cheap, but I don't know why this instills more of a cheap feeling than the other pens. Maybe it's that the the cartridges that they that Platinum uses have these little metal balls in them and I'm just I don't know, something about it just has a, a cheap feel to it. However it's the performance is really good. I've had a lot of platinum preppies. I have had one or two bad ones. So you know the track record at least in my experience hasn't been as good as pilots, but for the most part it's very good. And in terms of writing performance you know, these two are, are my favorites. Okay, now going back to the, onto the Monami Olika. I like the color of this like gold yellow ink. I think that's really nice. You don't get that color in any of the disposables. And I think you can get something close to it with Platinum Preppy, but the other ones, you're not gonna get this cool kind of golden yellow color uh, or orange color. It looks really nice. I like the ink. Out of the three that have the same sort of same nib, I think this to me feels like it writes the best and it might just be the, the ink that Monami uses. Very, very nice to write with. I like the grip section a lot. Performance, I have no complaints. This wrote really nicely. Reverse writing is, again, scratchier than the Pilot and the Platinum, but very nice performance. I, I, I like this, and I like that you get three cartridges with it. So out of the six budget fountain pens, which are the ones that I recommend and maybe recommend a bit less? Well, first up, the Zebra V301. 
This one for me, unfortunately, was the, the biggest disappointment. And really, it just comes down to the fact that the cap, you know, doesn't stay posted. It, they show it posted, so maybe this is just a bad example. Performance-wise, this writes very nicely. I did find that because the tip is so pointy and needle-like, I sometimes didn't quite get the position right, which is not really a problem I had with any of the other pens in this test. It's $4.23 retail. You do get two cartridges with it, but they are proprietary cartridges and they only come in blue and black. It was disappointing. I really like the V301 ballpoint and this just feels cheaper and don't really recommend this one. Now, up next is the Nakabayashi Art Navi fountain pen. This is $3. Uh, out of the pens here, this one did have the worst performance, but again, this is just one sample, so I can't say that this is representative of most of these, but it only comes in one color and it only comes at a medium point. So for the same price, you can have a Pilot Varsity, and I don't really see any reason to choose this over the Pilot Varsity, unless you just really like the looks, but the you know metal trim looks pretty cheap and kind of foil-like to me. Now we have the Zebra fountain pen, disposable fountain pen. This is a good pen. I've had multiple of these. It's the same nib as on the uh, Nakabayashi, so maybe that Nakabayashi again was just a bad sample. This one writes very nicely, comes in the same seven colors as the Pilot Varsity. It's a little bit more expensive, uh, $3.14. It's made in China. Looks-wise, I think it's kind of a wash between this and the Pilot Varsity. It's a good pen. I do recommend these. So, next would be the Monami Olika. This is the most expensive here, $5.50, but you do get three cartridges with the pen, and it comes in ten nice colors. You also get extra fine and fine. Again, I believe this is the same nib as on the Zebra Fountain Pen and the Nakabayashi. This one has written really nicely for me. I like that it has the rubber grip. This is probably the most comfortable pen here, although they're all very comfortable because they're so lightweight and none of them are really that skinny grip-wise, but the rubber on this is nice. And unlike the Platinum Preppy though, you can't convert this to an eyedropper because it has holes in the bottom of the barrel, so that's a downside. Looks-wise, I don't know. I don't, don't really love it. To be honest, I don't love the look of any of these pens. They look cheap and, well, they are cheap. And then next is the Platinum Preppy, $4.50. You know, in terms of value for money, this might be the best out of all of the pens here. This also writes really, really nicely. I've had a number of these, and I'd say all except one have been great writers for me. They come in three different points, 0 0.2, extra fine, 0 0.3 uh, fine, which is this one, and a 0 0.5 medium. And this takes standard platinum cartridges, so you get lots of colors, and again, you have that eyedropper ability so you can fill this pen with a lot of ink and use whatever ink you want in it. Well, as long as it's fountain pen ink. So, Platinum Preppy. And then finally, my favorite, and you know, I was hoping to find a new favorite, but I didn't. It's still the Pilot Varsity. This pen is such a good performer. I've had a lot of these. I've never had a bad one. The nib is the best looking of all of them. It's the most shapely. Really, really nice to write with. And again, like I have this, you know, 10 year old one. Still works great. And it's just super low maintenance. And you get a lot of that. Well, out of all of these fountain pens, you really do get the fountain pen experience. And again, $3, pretty hard to beat this. It's really, really nice. Okay, so that's it. Do you guys have any of these pens? Do you like these pens? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.